Dr. Samir Antani speaks over video of himself in profile view. I went to school for computer engineering in India. Dr. Antani speaks to viewer. Samir Antani, PhD, Tenure Track Investigator, Computational Health Research Branch, LHNCBC. I've worked with image processing, computer vision, pattern recognition, machine learning. So my world was filled with developing algorithms that could extract interesting objects from images and videos. Animated circles and lines overlay close-up of a woman's eye. Text, pattern recognition, appears above her eye. Pattern recognition is a family of techniques that looks for particular pixel characteristics or voxel characteristics inside an image and learns to recognize those objects. Animated model of a brain between two tall cabinets of computer networking equipment. Text, deep learning. Deep learning is a way of capturing the knowledge inside an image and encapsulating it. Dr. Antani working at his laptop. And then researchers like me spend time advancing newer deep learning networks that look more broadly into an image. Radiologic and rendered views of human skull. Images of organ tissue. Images of cellular biological material. Recognizing these objects, recognizing organs in my case, and diseases, and converting those visuals into numerical risk predictors that could be used by clinicians. So my research is currently in three very different areas. One area looks at cervical cancer. Text, cervical cancer appears over video of purple cells. A machine could look at the images and be a very solid predictor of the risk to the woman of developing cervical precancer, encouraging early treatment. Text, sickle cell disease appears over video of red cells. Another area I work with, a sickle cell disease. One of the risk factors in sickle cell disease is cardiac myopathy or cardiac muscle disease, which leads to stroke and perhaps even death. Nurse smiles at patient reclined in a hospital bed. Cardiac echo videos. Looking at cardiac echo videos and using AI to be a solid predictor along with other blood lab tests. Automated lab equipment moves lab vials. Improves the chances of survival. A third area of, uh, that I'm interested in is understanding the expression of tuberculosis. Text, tuberculosis appears over video of blue cells. In chest x-rays. Panel images of chest x-rays. Particularly for children and those that are HIV positive. The expression of disease in that subpopulation is very different from adults with TB who are not HIV positive. Two men with their arms over each other. Every clinician has seen a certain number of patients in their clinical training. A montage of working physicians. They perhaps have spent more time at hospitals or clinical centers and in exposed to a certain population, and they become very adept at that population. Machines, on the other hand, could be trained on data that is free of bias. A diverse group of smiling people. From different parts of the world, different ethnicities, different age groups, so that there is an improved caregiving and therefore a better expectation on treatment and care. On a white background, gray and blue, NLM logo appears above gray text, serving scientists and society.